ProtonVPN is known as the top VPN for privacy, which leads some beginners to imagine that it's this scary, complicated hacker app, when in reality, ProtonVPN is simple enough to help you protect your internet life right away without any tech skills. So in this Proton VPN tutorial, I'm gonna prove just that, showing you how to use this VPN from installation to all the features, no matter what device you're using. And if you wanna try out Proton VPN, I left the links for the best deals in the description below. So to start with, you heard me right, Proton VPN has apps for pretty much any desktop or mobile device and a browser extension for all major browsers. So let's say you start with a Windows device, then the installation is as simple as any other Windows app. Just Go to the Proton VPN download page on the provider's website, get the exe file and double click it, go through a bunch of yes and next presses, changing any installation settings that you need, and then just wait for the Proton VPN install process to finish. Nothing revolutionary if you've ever installed any other app on Windows before. Mac OS users, Proton VPN can also be downloaded from the provider's website, just like on Windows. As for mobile devices, installation on both macOS and Android is just a single click in the respective app store. Really can't go wrong with this one. But even with the app, you're not gonna get far if you don't have a subscription. Fortunately, ProtonVPN is quite an affordable provider when you go for a long-term subscription. So yeah, that's what I would recommend. All right, there's no other difference between plans other than the subscription duration. So don't worry about missing any features. You can also visit the link in the description or scan this QR code to get ProtonVPN with an exclusive discount. You're not gonna find better pricing anywhere else. Now, with an app and a subscription prepared, you can log into your account in the app and that's where our ProtonVPN tutorial picks up. So first of all, on this dashboard, you can either use Quick Connect for the closest and fastest server to connect to. Now, while this will give you the best performance, if you wanna access geo-restricted content, I do recommend picking a server manually. Manual pick will let you choose the country and sometimes even a city. Any connection that you establish will be pinned to the recents list so you can reconnect with one click next time. Now, the default tunneling protocol used by ProtonVPN, WireGuard, is also the fastest and the most modern one, which answers every one of you guys wondering, is ProtonVPN good? However, if you don't mind slower speeds and prefer an older and slightly more reliable protocol, you can switch to OpenVPN protocol in the settings right here. Now talking about speed, you can enable the VPN accelerator feature right here. <laughs> Just be aware that the promised 400% speed boost is a bit exaggerated. Your Proton VPN speed won't go over the rainbow, but hey, this feature fixes speed issues of long distance connections. Now, since I've started talking about features, let me give you a short Proton VPN review and tutorial for each of those. Now, for instance, you can enable NetShield from this side panel on the dashboard. It's disabled by default, but it can be set to block malicious links, malware downloads and such, or to also filter out ads, trackers, and other you know visual annoyances. Now on the same side panel, you could see Kill Switch. That's a feature that blocks all external traffic in case the connection gets interrupted. This is meant to preserve your privacy online, so I recommend keeping this feature enabled, especially since it's turned on by default. Now below is port forwarding, which should only bother you if you plan to torrent. Port forwarding does boost torrenting performance, but at the cost of a slight security decrease. So keep that in mind when enabling or disabling this feature. All right, now split tunneling is the feature where you can choose which apps or websites should be included or excluded from the VPN connection. This is typically useful to protect specifically financial transactions and other sensitive data exchanges. If you switch your attention to the server list on your left now, you can find specialized servers there. While P2P servers are quite self-explanatory and meant for torrenting, the other other two are a bit more complicated. Secure core servers are special privately owned Proton VPN servers with additional security and privacy measures. Anyone feeling their privacy is at risk can use those to gain some peace of mind. Tor over VPN servers are even more the same. They utilize the Onion Router or Tor to add additional nodes into the connection further boosting a user's privacy. This makes any user borderline impossible to track, but also dreadfully slows the connection itself. So if you're not sure what you're doing, yeah, 
perhaps don't touch those. You can also see the profiles category in the same menu on the left. Here you can build a specific set of rules that are gonna apply to your connection once you load a profile. For instance, you can pick which country to connect to, whether you wanna use secure core servers, and even the tunneling protocol to use and NetShield settings to apply. There's a lot to play with here, but if you find yourself going through the same repetitive steps when connecting to a server you want, keep in mind that you can simplify this all by adjusting it in profiles beforehand. One more thing to remember is that Proton VPN features have some distinctions depending on your OS. The Windows app provides the fullest experience. Everything I've mentioned so far applies to this OS. The Mac OS version doesn't support the open VPN protocol and split tunneling is currently in the experimental stage leading to less stable performance. There's also no IPv6 leak protection as of yet. On Android, there are no automatic server updates or port forwarding, but that's as far as limitations go. On the contrary, iOS also doesn't support open VPN and due to how the system operates, split tunneling and port forwarding are not available and likely never will be. Well, not like any other VPN offers them either, but hey, it's still worth knowing. The differences are quite minor and your performance won't be affected by them. Besides, regardless of your device, you can take advantage of my deals to get the best Proton VPN discount. Just click the link in the description or scan this QR code. The discount code is already applied. So whether you're new to VPNs or just want a reliable way to stay private online, Proton VPN makes it surprisingly simple. From choosing a plan to getting everything set up on your device, the whole process is quick and beginner friendly. When it comes to cybersecurity protection, some complexity is unavoidable, but Proton VPN makes taking that first step towards understanding really easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions left, leave them in the comments below. Stay safe online, guys. See you soon. Bye.